Picked up another Glock today. This is the Glock 17. I've been wanting one of these for for quite some time after reading all the rave reviews online about them and how many times they test fire them and they're just an outstanding gun. I mean, they beat back in 1982 when they done a test with them. Uh, I mean, this gun beat out lots and lots of other top-of-the-line guns. Um, as you know, the Glock 17, it's a 17 round 9 millimeter, 9 by 19, 9 millimeter Luger. This is an older Glock. It's not got the finger grooves on the front like like my uh, 22 and, and a 27. Let me lay it here beside the. It don't have the finger groove, which that's fine by me. Um, don't have the rail for the laser. Of course, that came around uh, long later, uh, which I don't care for anyway. Uh, this is just a sleek, sleek gun. Um, quite a bit lighter than the Glock 22. Uh, it's it's uh, actually a shocking. I mean, it, you know, loaded. Now, unloaded, neither one of them weighs much, but this gun loaded. <coughs> is quite a bit lighter of course and I've not tried to I don't even know if they make the aluminum hull blazer in the 40 cal but I loaded 17 rounds in this with this blazer aluminum blazer ammo which is lighter weight ammo you just can't reload it which I don't reload anyway it's perfect for carrying it's what I carry in my little 38 titanium because if you're going for light weight then makes quite a bit of difference. Um, I'm carrying those and I'm carrying 16 rounds of those and one of these uh, critical defense Hornady's in the Glock 17. Now this shell is bad. Bad news. It's got like a little eraser feeling thing. Rubber tip down in there in the hollow point part. And it's just, it, and the way the cone is on it, I actually wouldn't care to carry this round in every round in the clip because I've had no feeding problems. I chambered five through it, working it slow. No jam ups like I've had with other hollow points by manually working them. So this round would probably load a uh, reliable, reliable. Um, I'm going to load probably a clip with these and see how much the weight difference is and I'm not really much worried about these working because Hornady always designs good stuff um, got me a small lightweight holster Phobos holster for this gun too which is perfect because I'm going for lightweight and that really makes this gun I mean, it's not like these other holsters here. They got, they just more to them. Even where the trigger guard, I, let me put this gun in this holster and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now this holster, as you can see, it's got a big gap behind the trigger where these don't therefore making it lighter and quite a bit of the barrel sticks out the end which is perfect I mean for for a gun you're going to carry and not worry about anyway great little holster the whole package is real lightweight so this would be a this would be a decent carrying gun uh, got two 17 round mags and a, <clears throat> and a 10 round mag and I've ordered a couple of the factory 33 round Glock mags that which would be fun to get out on the range with not have to reload so often but uh, I really recommend highly recommend the Glock 17 or any Glock you can't go wrong with a Glock